I am uh, Anthony Sebrell. I am the planner for uh, U.S. Army participation in trade shows throughout Europe. So today we brought two helicopters and three trucks. We brought the armored security vehicle, the LMTV, which is a light medium tactical vehicle, the uh, JLTV, the joint light tactical vehicle, which is a newer one. The two helicopters we brought are the uh, UH-60 Blackhawk and the AH-64 Apache, specifically the Echo model, which is one of the newer ones that we want to highlight. So the JLTV is the Joint Tactical Light Vehicle. The U.S. Army is replacing all the Humvees with the Joint Tactical Light Vehicle. The Second Cavalry Regiment, we had just got them. They're, they're pretty unique. It's a new vehicle. We love it. It's a game changer for us and the U.S. Army to have this vehicle. This is our FMTV. It's a family of medium light tactical vehicles. So this is our 1083 P2 Wow. This is our newest variant that we have in our military. It upgraded a lot of things such as like horsepower, length of uh, miles it could go, kilometers. Right now it's got 275 horsepower. It has a Caterpillar engine. You could put 22 troops in the back. In the front, there's three individuals that could be in here. We could also have a gunner on top. We do not mount the uh, turret on top currently but we're getting it it has all, all the uh, bells and whistles IR lights LED lights for uh, you know nighttime driving it's a very good vehicle so this version is a troop carrier so mainly it could carry up to one platoon that's what we usually mainly use it for to go out to ranges uh, it also could carry cargo though so uh, we use this for ammunition things of that nature you uh, could carry about two pallets of ammunition on there this is an ASV M11117. It is an up-armored vehicle. It can take to a 20 millimeter cannon. It has three weapon systems designed to it. It also has a V8 Cummins engine. It can go up to 50 to 80 miles per hour. It has four personnel that are held inside the vehicle. I mean, it's designed for escort missions, convoy security, or um, just security missions in whole. Um, this vehicle is very well designed. If the tire is struck, it can reinflate and the mission can keep going. It has a V-cone at the bottom for IEDs, landmines, and that sort of thing. Behind me is the UH-60 Mike Model Blackhawk, and uh, what it's usually used for is uh, troop transport and cargo, but it also has a variety of other capabilities to do firefighting, medevac, kazavac, VIP movements, and a multitude of other different missions. Right now, as it's configured, weighs about 16,000 pounds. We've got about two to two and a half hours of flight time. We can put two uh, machine guns on the side, 240 uh, hotel variants. We have two door gunners that man those behind the two pilots. We can also fit about 11 people in the back. We can fit more if we need to by pulling out the seats and then uh, using tie-down straps. I'm a currently active duty member of the 1st Infantry Division here at the DIFA show to show off our uh, A64 Echo, the newest attack helicopter in the world. I can't go into too much detail, but uh, people call it the flying tank. So it has enough armament to sustain any uh, combat action that it's given to. So you see under the helicopter here, it's a 30 millimeter chain gun M230. It shoots a 30 millimeter projectile at uh, any serviceable target. And then we carry uh, Hellfire missiles, a range of Hellfire missiles. You can be shot at different targets. And also we have carry on this particular platform, we can carry 38 PD rockets, point detonating rockets. 